The American dream is very personal to me. My father served in the South Vietnamese army, and my uncle was executed by the communists during the fall of Saigon. When the war ended, my family was to be placed in a concentration camp. The new communist government called a re-education camp. But we fled to a small village to hide. We were not allowed to take anything with us, just the clothes on our backs. We didn't want anyone to know we had left. We always dreamed of a better life, maybe even coming to America someday. So we head to the village to where my grandmother lived. We made many, many attempts throughout the years just to try to escape. Many times when we fell, we would always end up staying with grandma and our parents would go to prison. One night, my father was able to escape with my brother. My mom ended up in prison. My sister and I stayed with my grandmother. We then made our next attempt when my mom came out. We ended up in Thailand. However, at the time, Thailand was not accepting any more refugees. There was just too many refugees and they couldn't handle anymore. So they took our boat out to sea. We had no choice. If we went back to Vietnam, we would have been killed by the communist government. If we stay on our boat, we would have starved at sea. So we decided to sink our boat and swam into shore. We made it and eventually found my father and brother at the refugee camp. This photo of me was taken at the refugee camp. I was just happy to be alive and with my family. Our dreams came true a few months later when a church sponsored us to come to America. We were very poor when we came here. We had to go on welfare and food stamps. My clothes came from the Salvation Army and many other charities. I attended public elementary school. It was hard at first because I spoke no English, but I loved going to school. That's me holding the American flag. Sometimes I had to wear boys clothes to school because there were no girls clothes available. I wore what I was given. On Christmas day, we did not have money to buy presents. So our church gave us the gifts, but we were in America, the land of opportunity. My family always believed in hard work. While learning English at the local community college, my dad took a job as a busboy in the cafeteria to support his family. My father was a proud man, but he was willing to do whatever it took to help us realize our American dream. With both my parents working, we eventually did a little better and moved to Garden Grove in 1991. My brother joined the United States Marines after high school. He did not tell my parents at first. The scars of war always stay with them and they did not want to lose another family member. After 9-11, my brother was sent to fight in Iraq and a local Los Angeles TV station did a story about our family and how my father fought alongside American GIs for freedom in Vietnam and how my brother, a proud United States Marine, was now fighting for freedom in Iraq. In my family, we were given three choices. Become a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. I was supposed to be a doctor, and I headed to the University of California in Irvine to study biology. I was working three jobs to support myself and help my family while going to school. Politics and government were of little interest to me. That is until I took a class being taught by County Supervisor Bill Steiner. I learned about how the laws made by our officials can be very harmful or very helpful to the people. I went on to work for Supervisor Steiner and for the Chamber of Commerce in Long Beach. I met my husband, started a small business, and became a mom. I was elected to the Garden Grove City Council in 2004, then to the Board of Supervisors in one of the closest and toughest races ever. I was the first woman elected to serve our district and the first Asian American ever elected to the board. My family's experience really shapes my war view. We have achieved the American dream, but not without going through tough times. I learned that government can be very destructive to people's freedom, but it can also be there to lend a helping hand to those willing to work hard. The Republican Party and our state government need more people like me. 
I can see things through the eyes of an immigrant, through the eyes of someone who had once had no choice but to accept public assistance in order to survive. My experiences are unique, and they are uniquely American. I am proud to be able to serve my country that has given me and my family so many opportunities. I'll never stop believing in America and the American dream.